Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say hallelujah. Amen. Can we open the system up to welcome the pastor? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Regis, praise. Amen. The recording in the morning will not be very good because of the fact that there was not. The echo was too much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A little bit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Beautiful. We are not going to continue with the serial except next week, Sunday. As I was coming, I believe it was the Lord that spoke to me and said, youth ministry that we are talking about, that I need greater power, greater power. Because the Bible says in that day of that power, my people shall be with me. And God spoke to me that in the morning, every week, every youth week, you do your normal thing, but in the evening, prayer should be concentrated on the youth of Australia. Pray. That in the evening, Prayer should be concentrated, 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 should be focused on the youth of Australia. And I'm here to start what God has told me. So, little forces that spoil the vine will continue this. Amen. But this youth we we are going to use it to pray for the youth. Now, what are the importance? Why should this be? One, evangelism may not prosper without contention. Two, we might not preserve the habits without contention. Without contention. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to pray tonight? Yes. Remember, none of you here God repented without other people's prayer. Nobody. Nobody repents without people's prayer. Though Jesus has died for us, but without people praying for you, without the messenger being sent, does that make sense? Are we going to be stingy because we are saved? We are going to pray for other people to be saved. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for speaking to us. Today, it has been decided, it's a decision that will go on in church of commission until further notice. That every week, third week of the month, which is supposed to be the Sunday for the youth, the morning section will be for all their stops. But the evening shall be time of prayer for the youth in general. Therefore, Lord, as we continue on this, give us the strength and the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many of you have read about Elisha yeah. and the 450 prophets of Baal? How many of you know the story of Elisha, Elijah? 
and the 450 prophets of Baal. Something was going on in the land of Israel. And somebody said, the people that will solve this problem are these prophets of Baal. Because such person and that person had access to the king. And who was that? Who was that? Jezebel. And Jezebel said, these are the people that have to leave the nation. These are the spiritual people that will carry the government upon their shoulders. And what happened? Did Elijah fight them? Do you know how Elijah solved the problem? Let's go to the book of James. James chapter 5, verse 17. If you are there, read for us. I want different, different versions. James chapter 5, verse 17. What did he say? <laughs> yes. Elijah. Elijah was a man. Was a man subject to like passions. Just passion. like you, a man that has the same passion, the same beauty like you. One head, he didn't have twenty heads. Continue. <laughs> and he prayed. He did what? And he prayed time over time. No, 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 listen now. He did what? Pray. Pray. He prayed. Did he go to the prophets of God and say, I have this one style I'm going to keep? Did he go make it now? What did he do? Pray. He prayed. Continue. And he prayed. Yeah. Time over time. Did he pray once? No. <laughs> that it might not rain. So that it would not rain. Look at how he con contented with he, he, he contented with the prophets of Baal. And it rained not on the earth, but the space of three years and six months. Now, who was this man that prayed? Was he a robot? No. Was he made of iron? No. <clears throat> or was his mouth like a lady praying? Braka, 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 No. He was a man of like passion. He was a man that was feeling the pain. He was a man that studied his Bible. He was a man in the time. Jezebel was perpetrating illegalities. Bringing evil. Destroying the standard of God. Baal was no real. Baal was never a God. Were just manipulation, ritual, occultic suicide, lies, and manipulations. And Elijah went, Elijah went to a corner, the same way what we are doing today. He said, What is it that this nation needs most? Rain. Time and time again. 
over and over again. The Bible, another version said, he earnestly prayed. And you know when God confirmed it, I said, Elijah, Elijah, I have had it. Do you know what he did? Go to First King and see what he did. First King chapter 17, verse 1 and 2. When God said, I have had the cry. And bread stopped. And the children of Israel did not know who stopped it. <laughs> they didn't know who stopped the red. They didn't know how is it that this red got stopped. They didn't know. And he came out. I said, stop being confused. Elijah, I mean, first king. Chapter 17, verse 1. And Elijah. Yes. The Tashbit. You get? Who was, who was of the inhabitant of Gilead. Okay. Said to Haba. Yeah. As the Lord God of Israel lived. Hey, Makushka, before whom I stand. Before whom I stand. Who is a witness? There shall not be joy, not rain this year, but according to my word. Did he say according to the word of God? No. <laughs> he didn't say according to the word of God. He said according to my word. There will be no rain. Imagine if we take a decision and say there will be no occultic magic again in Australia. Hmm. Imagine if we come and say, children, our children will not be deceived. Somebody came to me and said, Pastor, pray for me. And he didn't only ask me for that prayer, he sowed a seed in my life. You see, the foremost. $2,000. He said, pray for me. I want to build something in the moon that if anybody opens the screen of computer and it's pornography, it will shut down. See how people are thinking. See, give me, pray for me. I need supernatural power to build something in the moon, a satellite. So that if anybody opens his computer or opens any screen and it is pornography, it will. It will be. It sounded impossible. It sounded like something that cannot happen. What did I do? I lay hand on him, pray for him. I say, God, I know with my whole calculation as a human being, it might be possible, but all things are possible with you. I release you into the land of wonders. That which you need to terrorize anything that brings destruction to the world through pornography, receive it in the name of Jesus. Bless you. And I know he's doing wonders. Imagine, because the major problem that we are having in first world country. It's magic. And why is the devil bringing this magic? Bringing all this uh, occultic deception. Because Christianity is free, but it's not cheap. So that you see an alternative that is easy. Immediately you are holding your magic stick. <laughs> you're holding your majesty stick. You don't need righteousness again. You don't need righteousness. You're holding your majesty. You'll be doing evil. You'll be lying. You'll be killing. You'll be stealing. But when you want to solve a supernatural problem, instead of praying to God, you say, Abracadabra. Anyone bracketing the Abra? That Abra will bracket it. Amen. In the television, everything, teaching our children, you can live your life anyhow, but when you jam with supernatural things, abracadabra, we abracadabra you. And they come with fiction.
pictures that come with pictures. Elisha said, not in my time. What did he do? He prayed again and again. And that is what God has asked CGMI youth to be doing at their second service. Pray earnestly. Get that thing that if, if you stop, people will flow and serve God. Get that thing that want to stop the church. Stop it through prayers. And Elisha said, at my war. Church, do you know you can get to that level? Hallelujah. Do you know you can get to that level where, you know, I keep on telling you, in this school, no. Because I am in this school. That's the same thing Elisha said. Because I am in this school, there will not be any suicide spirit. In fact, you see, oh. Can we do it? Yeah. If my people who are covered, my land, will humble themselves. He said, I shall hear from heaven and I shall heal the land. Do you know Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Now, do you know what we are doing today? I'll show you what we are doing. Let's go to the book of Acts. Chapter 16. Verse 16 to 19. Quickly. Chapter 16. Yeah. Acts 16. From verse 16 to 19, yes. Okay, from verse 16 to 19. Mm. And it came to pass. It came to pass. As we went to pray. As we went to pray. A certain demes. A certain damsel. A girl, a young girl. Yes. Possessed with a spirit. Possessed with a spirit. Amen. Mm. Possessed with a spirit of definition. Meet us. Just imagine. Do you know this is what is happening in our country today? Do you know this is what is happening in our lives today? Elisha. So that, okay, Jezebel, because you are married to Eha, you have not decided to bring the prophet of Baal, to bring occultic power. You know, the Bible says, Jesus said, the government shall be upon my shoulder. So, which means the government cannot for sure well without spiritual authority backing them up. You saw David. David did well because he had prophets. He respected his prophets. Saul fell because he had no respect for Samuel. Two times Samuel gave him instruction. He said, wait for me in the battlefield. Until I come, do not sacrifice. I will be the one that will do the sacrifice. And when Paul saw, saw King Saul saw that people were running away, he went and did the sacrifice. And immediately he finished the sacrifice, King Saul arrived. I mean, Prophet Samuel arrived. And he said, What have you done? Foolish. He said, Go to kill everything. And he went and disobeyed him. Church, get where I'm going. Elijah said, if I stop the water, if I stop rain from coming, they will know. And he went, he didn't come out. He just came in a meeting like this. They meet as we are here with the power of God. Elisha prayed. No, there will never be rain in this world. There will never be rain. He God said, how many years do you want the rain? He said, three and a half years. God said, I've had you. And when God had him, they started announcing on the television, there is no rain, there is no rain, how are we going to solve the problem? The man that stopped the rain knew he was the one, Elijah. And Elijah did what? We are we ready? First, first Kings chapter 17 verse 1, Elijah came to the king 
and say, stop announcing about the rain. As long as I'm in Israel, there will be no rain. There will be no rain for three and a half years. As a matter of fact, he said three years. But James says three and a half years. And half time I will teach you why it was three and a half years. Still praying. And look at it. Look at the scenario we are seeing in Acts of Apostles chapter 16 from verse 16 to 9. Look at the scenario. If it were to be our current church, that girl we have seen will be the next cousin to the pastor. I'm telling you the truth. Read it again. 16. Yes. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. As we went to prayer. Yes. A certain, a certain dancer possessed with a spirit of definition methods. You know, possessed with the spirit of seeing secret things. Spirit of seeing even the future. Even spirit of seeing even the behind. And what happens that? Which brought her master and, and, and much in but softness. Faith, let me show you something. Just let me show you what happened. You, you are not that gay. But in case, look at what happened. If the church today, look at what happened in the church today. Immediately we get such person. No, oh, you are the assistant pastor. You are the assistant pastor. And what would the pastor 